So in today's class, uh, what we are going to do is we will be trying to complete the whole scenario of search, and I'll introduce the search completely. Or its rules. Ke baare mein, we are going to detail. We are going to discuss about this thing in a very detailed way. So right now, as you can see, the first thing which you are supposed to do right now is that our search. You have. What is it? First, we will talk about it in detail. So as you can see, the definition of search, search are the square root of numbers that cannot be simplified into a whole or rational numbers. It cannot be accurately represented in a fraction. In other words, a search is a root of a whole number that has an irrational value. Irrational value के बारे में you guys have already studied in the topic of numbers. तो numbers के topic के अंदर आपको detail के अंदर आपने इसके बारे में पढ़ा था. So You don't have need to worry about this particular thing. आपको already पता है. Now there is one example square root of two that is going to be an irrational number. तो ये आपके पास example उन्हें दी भी है. Simple जी search की. Right. So moving forward now before doing this particular thing, एक मैं आपको यहाँ पे चीज बता दूँ कि whenever आपके पास यहाँ पे लिखा हो square root of ninety eight, you have any sort of number. So you guys have already done these kind of steps. आपने ये already अच्छे कासे करे में. Uh, in your previous classes, so what you are supposed to do, you are going to just take out the prime factors of ninety eight. So the prime factorization of ninety eight is going to be two. Yeah, I'll check it. Then this is going to be forty nine. So again, you have a seven right now, and then you have a seven one more time. So instead of writing ninety eight, I am going to just write down into the form of two multiplied by seven multiplied by seven. They go square root. क्या अंदर कभी भी ये दो numbers का अगर आपके पास pair form हो जाए तो आप इनको मिला के बाहर निकाल सकते हो सो आप ये दो पेयर को जैसे ही बाहर निकालो दिस विल बिकम वन सिंगल सेवन एंड दिस विल बिकम सेवन स्क्वायर रूट टू सो द स्क्वायर रूट नाइनटी एट इज गोइंग टू बिकम योर आंसर ऑफ सेवन स्क्वायर रूट टू दैट्स हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट सो दिस वाज अ बेसिक एग्जाम्पल नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टूवर्ड्स एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू बट बिफोर डूइंग एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू यू नीड टू जस्ट रिमेंबर दीज बेसिक रूल्स विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड एंड डाइस इन वेरी डिटेल पे सो द फर्स्ट रूल इज बेसिकली गोइंग टू बी आई एम गोइंग टू राइट दीज रूल्स Your first rule is whenever you have square root of a multiplied by square root of a. Whenever you have an exact same number written inside a square root, so the answer is going to be a. Yeah, आपके पास सिंबल सा आंसर a हो जाता है. इसका डिटेल डिस्कशन हमारे पास ये था कि you have two की पावर, for example, square root का मतलब होता है two की पावर one upon two multiplied by two की पावर one upon two. So if you combine because the bases are exactly same, powers को combine करोगे तो one upon two plus one upon two. And that is going to give you an answer of one plus one divided by two. This will become two power two upon two. Or if cancel out, होने के बाद this is going to be two itself. So कभी भी square root के अंदर same number हो, this is going to be a. For example, square root of two multiplied by square root of two. This is going to be an answer of two. अगर square root of three लिखा हुआ है यहाँ पे multiplied by square root of three लिखा हुआ है, so again it is going to be three. So that's how you are going to follow this rule. Rule number two हमसे ये कहता है कि whenever you have these numbers, you have square root of a. मल्टीप्लाई बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ई सो दीज आर टू डिफरेंट नंबर्स तो आप डिफरेंट नंबर्स को लेते हो दोनों को मल्टीप्लाई कराने के बाद सो देयर इज वन एग्जांपल सो इफ यू हैव स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ 2 मल्टीप्लाई बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ 3 सो यू विल बी राइटिंग 2 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 3 दैट इज 6 सो दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन द रूल ऑफ इंडाइसेस व्हिच वाज रूल नंबर 4 ये उसी के ऊपर बेस कर है एंड रूल नंबर 3 मैं यहां पे लिख रहा हूं रूल नंबर 3 इज ऑल अबाउट व्हेनेवर यू हैव स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ए डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ बी So you can write a divided by b, and you can put a collective square root over a and b. So these are some rules which we are going to use in search in a very detailed way. अब देखो हम आगे बढ़ते हैं. So you have square root of six multiplied by square root of eight. So six multiplied by eight that is going to be forty eight. So I am going to take out the prime factorization of forty eight first. So the prime factorization of forty eight is going to be two. This will become Twenty four, and again this is going to be two. Here will be twelve. This is again going to be two. Here will be six. Again, with two, you have divided it. This will become three. So finally, now it is going to be two multiplied by two, multiplied by two, multiplied by two, and multiplied by three. So if you make a pair, then you make these two pairs. Then you make these two pairs. This way, these two numbers make a pair. So two, this pair was the first pair, and the second pair was the outside pair. This is coming. And this is finally going to be four square root of three. So this is going to be the answer for this part. So what I have done, I have used this rule number two. ये मैंने use करते हुए इसका answer निकाला. Now moving forward towards rule number three. So what is happening in rule number three is you have square root sixty divided by square root of five. So I, I already told you that whenever on both numbers you are looking at the square root, you can follow this rule. Square root a upon square root b. So you collectively a square root लगा देते हो. So in this rule, you are going to write sixty divided by five. 
and you can put a collective square root over it. So when you divide 60 by 5, 5, 1 times, this is going to be 12. So now this is going to be square root of 12. And you guys already know the prime factorization of 12. You have to already pata hoti hai. So this is again 2. So this is going to be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. So I can see the pair. Ye ek pair ban hai paas. So this is going to be 2 square root 3. So that is the answer of this part. So these were the very simple part in which we were using some rules. Ab zara aage hai 4 ki now 4 is a kind of a simple thing which we have already done in algebra. So this is the same way. Algebra is two bracket. Hote the, x plus 2. Or for example, x minus 3. Hum jis se unki multiplication karte the, we have to use the exact same rule. So now what is happening is that now I'm just going to put down the arrows so that you can easy way to describe it. 1 multiply hoga, sabse pehle 2 ke saath, and then 1 multiply hoga, square root of 3, negative square root of 3. Ke so when you multiply 1 by 2, 1 multiply by 2, that is going to give you an answer of 2. And when you multiply 1 ko square root of 3, ke saath multiply kar to, ho jata hai, negative square root of 3. 1 multiply by 2, that is going to be 2. Or 1 multiply by negative square root of 3 is going to give you an answer of negative square root of 3. Once you are done with one, then you are going to move forward towards the other number. Square root 3 ko multiply kar hai iske saath aur square root 3 ko aapne square root 3 ke saath multiply kar hai. So moving forward, when you multiply square root 3 by 2, so now this is going to be plus 2 square root 3. You cannot multiply ye square root ke andar likha hai, iske andar se multiply nahi hoga. 2, you have to write it outside. Or square root 3, square root 3 se multiply as you have studied rule number 1, ke whenever you are going to multiply the exact same number, so square root can the to answer up kibas ka dega three a dega with a negative sign. Ab now how you are supposed to solve it? Ek thodi si mein aapko easy way ke and the thoda sa isko relate karani ke liye baat batonga. Ke basically this thing act like a x. For example, ye variable ki thana ek karta hai. For example, aapke pas the minus x plus two x. To aap likte hi yahan pe ye minus x hai, ye plus two x hai. You are going to write ye one x hota. Ye aap simple way ke and the iska answer likte x. So what you need to do right now is ki you are supposed to solve these things together. Inko solve ki aapne. Or in dono numbers, koi jo aapke baas numbers hai, inko aapne alag se solve kiya. So the first thing which I am going to solve, yahan pe 1 likha hai, so 2 minus 1, that is going to be a positive 1. So positive 1 aap likhte nahi ho, yahan pe you will be writing square root of 3. And 2 minus 3 is going to be a negative 1. So that's how you are going to solve this example. So this was a very basic example. So we are going to move forward towards some other example. If there is any confusion, then please do let me know. Moving forward. Now, before doing these examples, I'm going to just recall some algebraic identities so we previously learned. So we have this first one, a plus b ka whole square. Isse aap expand karoge. So a square plus 2ab plus b square. Then we have a minus b whole square. This is going to be a square minus 2ab plus b square. And then we have a plus b, a minus b, which you have the a square minus b square. So now in this example, I can easily observe ke yaar, this is basically related to this particular identity. How it is exactly related? As I can see, there is 2, there is this 2, there is this square root of 5, there is this square root of 5. So the only difference right now is we have with a positive sign. Yaar, a positive sign or yaar, a negative sign. Sirf itna hi is kinder difference hai. Jab ye itna sa basic sa aapke paas yaar, a difference hai, so you are observing this thing ke yaar, pe we can use this identity. So this is my A, this is my A, this is my B. And this is my B. So, this identity we use. How we are going to use it? A square, 2 ka square, minus B square. That means square root of 5 ka square. And when you are going to do the square root 2, that is going to give you an answer of 4. And because square root of 5 is square root, likhawa, ye dono ek ke is se cancel out. Ho this will become simply a 5, negative 5. So, 4 minus 1, that is going to give you an answer of negative 1. Yeah, aapke paas pe answer aa jayega, negative 1. So, that is again a very simple part. Moving forward towards this example, so we have a whole square over there. 1 minus 2, 2 square root 7, whole square to whole square because there is a negative sign. So I can use this identity. So I can use this identity here. So I can use it properly. So I will write 1 square minus 2ab, 2 square root 7. Right? Then b square. So my value of b is 2 square root of 7. That's what you have done. Square. So now after doing the whole step, that is going to become 1 minus 2 multiplied by 2. That is going to be negative 4 square root 7. And then I'm going to solve this step over here. So we have 2 square root of 7 and we have a square over it. So square is going to come towards 2 also. Or same to same square root 7. Ke bhi pe 
So two ka square is four, and this is going to be seven. So when you multiply four by seven, this is going to be twenty eight. So I'll I'll write this thing two ka square four or seven ka square root is seven itself. Yeah, आपके पास होगा square root of seven ka square आपने कराया, and then you will be writing one minus four square root seven. This is going to be twenty eight. No, beta, this thing is with square root of seven. Yeah, आप इसके साथ और इसके साथ solve नहीं करा सकते. So the only option left is you are going to solve one and twenty-eight because one is with a positive sign, twenty-eight के साथ भी positive sign है. So दोनों आपस में add up हो जाते हैं. So twenty-nine minus four square root seven. That is going to be your final answer for this part. Okay, now after doing this thing, so uh, we are done with these examples. So now I am going to move toward this thing. So this is rationalization. So now, as you can see, the definition of rationalization is the definition. आपके पास लिखी हुई definition क्या लिखी हुई है? To change the denominator which contains sirs to a rational number. Now I am going to recall some basic steps. बेटे ये numerator होता है आपका और ये आपका denominator होता है. सही ये बात आपको clear होनी चाहिए. So as you can see, in the denominator you have square root of two. आपके पास square root of two लिखा हुआ है. आप देखो wording को read करो. To change the denominator which contains sirs. Denominator को change करो. इस तरह से कि वो rational number बन जाए. Now there are two kind of examples जो मैं यहाँ पे आज कराऊंगा तो आप जरा उसको ऑब्जर्व करना और प्रॉपर तरीके से समझना सो फर्स्ट यू हैव सिक्स अपॉन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू सो आई एम गोइंग टू राइट सिक्स अपॉन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू हमने लिखा यहाँ पे एंड बिकॉज रेशनलाइजेशन इसकी करानी है सो आई एम गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस थिंग बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू और स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू आपने न्यूमिनेटर के साथ भी कराया आपने डिनोमिनेटर के साथ भी कराया और इससे फायदा ये हुआ कि वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई सिक्स स्क्वायर रूट टू This is going to be square root of two multiplied by square root of two. So because of the basis of rule number one, that if any number is in the square root, and if it's the same number, so that is going to give you an answer of that. Your answer will give you exact two. Is it right? Or two or six? You can even simplify. So your final answer is going to be three square root two. That's how you're going to solve it. So it was a very simple part. So that's how you're going to rationalize. Now I'm going to just repeat this step one more time. रेशनलाइजेशन का मतलब ये था कि आपके पास जो डिनोमिनेटर के अंदर वैल्यू है वो आपके पास वैल्यू यहाँ पे क्या हो जाएगी एज यू कैन सी इन दिस वैल्यू कि जो आपका डिनोमिनेटर है नाउ इट इज गोइंग टू बी बिकम टू और टू आपके पास एक रेशनल नंबर होता है तो पहले ये इ रेशनल नंबर था दिस वॉज एन इ रेशनल नंबर बट करेंटली आपके पास ये क्या आ गया रेशनल नंबर आ गया और इसको आपने फर्दर सिंप्लीफाई कराया सो दैट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ रेशनलाइजेशन दैट वॉज अ वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल